everyone welcome to the studio I know it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video so I wanted to put one out there and since it's just about summertime I thought it would be really appropriate to make one of these really cute little cylinder flower vases and you can see I've got a couple here filled with some nice early summer flowers just some little yellow like cone flower and then this spiderwort oh my gosh I love spiderwort also called blue jacket just found that out the other day so this is a very simple hand building project. It's from a slab of clay and it's really easy. I'm gonna get to the tutorial right now. All right, so I have before me a slab of clay rolled out. This is Laguna 16, it's a mid-range porcelain, but you can use whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And I've rolled it to about three eighths of an inch, a quarter inch thick. The thickness completely depends on you and what you're comfortable working with. If you want a nice thick stout vase, make it thicker. If you want a nice thin vase, make it thinner. Simple. All right, so I've smoothed both sides with a yellow rib. And now you can put whatever you want for texture. I'm going to use these embossing rollers. I don't know if you guys have found these yet. They're awesome. They're used for fondant baking, you know, so you roll it out onto the fondant icing and then drape it over your cake. But here we're going to use it on our clay. And I'm just going to go just roll it out just like that now if you find your roller is sticking to your clay what you can do is spray the roller with non-stick cooking spray pretty cool i'm just gonna actually play with this a little bit and come in and, and maybe do a little bit of texture going in different directions okay so once you have your texture put in i'm gonna cut out my template now, if you're following along and you want a more in-depth, slower paced tutorial, why don't you go check out clayshare.com. It'll be posted here in the comments section. And there you will find in-depth tutorials on all things you can imagine, all kinds of ceramic courses. It is your online source for ceramic learning. You should check them out. Check me out, because I'm there. Because that's me, if you didn't know. All right, transferring the slab. To a board and I just did a rough cut of the template and now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to actually do a closer cut. I'm going to do the top then the bottom and then I'm going to do the sides holding my knife at an angle and it's going to be the same angle for both sides and then we remove the excess. Boom! So here we have a lovely little rectangle ready to be rolled up. Now this is too floppy, so we can't roll this up yet. So we need to set it to the side to let it stiffen up. Usually I'll do a bunch of these. I'll set them out for about an hour or two and then I'll come back and do the rolling up. I'm gonna roll it up and look at that. The magic of forethought. I've got one already. So this one's been cut, it's a little different. I actually left a spot on the top smooth. I didn't put texture all the way to the top. Just wanted to try it, you know, try something new, get a little crazy. So now I'm going to score it, and I'm going to score the sides. And then I'm just going to stand it up, and I'm going to wrap it just like this. Now, I'm going to stand up because I am not tall enough to see down in from sitting. So all I'm going to do is line these edges up, and I'm just going to tack them just lightly with my fingers. And I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the same on the bottom. So I'm really just lightly tacking these edges together because I am gonna go back in and really smooth this join. But I just want it to hold its shape so I can be sure I want it where it is. Okay, so I'm gonna look at my seam, make sure everything's all right. It's good to go. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna press from the inside and the outside at the same time, just pinching this little line of clay as I go down. Do you guys hear my chicken out there? She's uh, just laid an egg and she's barking up a storm. Go chicky. If this is your first time watching me, I have chickens. <laughs> and they happen to end up sometimes in the videos, just the way it is. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and smooth the outside with a damp sponge 
and do the same on the inside. And then I also like to smooth this join with a rib. I just want to flatten it a bit. Now, if you have texture here you don't want to lose, go softly. I'm okay with the texture kind of getting smushed because I can put it back in. We can put it back in later. All right. There we go. Now, I'm going to take the damp sponge and really blend it. And because I'm not trying to hide that this was slab built, I'm actually going to take my yellow rib and I'm going to kind of wiggle it in there and make the line a little more pronounced. There we go. And then to even accent it more, you can take a rubber tipped rib. This is where coming, where, <laughs> this is where drawing a straight line comes in handy. There we go. So I didn't hide my join, but I made it part of the design and that's all right. You know, you have a choice when you're making pots that have joins. You can either hide them completely or you can just make it be part of the pot's design. So I chose to make it be part of it. And I will do the same thing on the inside. Smooth it with the yellow rib and then go back in with the rubber tip tool and smooth out that joint. So I'll do that on the inside. All right, now we come to the foot and the foot is pretty easy. And here's a little handy tip. I rolled out my big old slab and then I um, squished it because I wasn't thinking about the foot, but I need a foot. So we're just gonna roll one out quickly. So you'll get a little mini how to roll a slab tutorial. So here's a little bit of clay. I'm gonna wedge it a tiny bit, but it's really pretty small. It's important to find the biggest roller out there for rolling teeny tiny slabs. You all know that's a joke, right? Just kidding. Any roller will do. This just happens to be the one that I have handy and it's a monster. All right, smooth that guy out with this yellow rib. So I'm gonna smooth the top side and then because I rolled it on canvas and I don't want the canvas to show, I'm gonna smooth it on the bottom. I had already done that on the cylinder. I just didn't show that. I did it off camera. Okay, now, now we're gonna attach the bottom. So here we have the bottom. I'm actually gonna go in quickly. I'm just gonna use my finger and hit that join again because I didn't get the bottom. So whenever I'm pressing out from the inside, when I'm working on a join, I always support the exterior of the pot. All right, the serrated rib, dipping it in my water, slipping and scoring the bottom. And then just gonna place it on this slab right here. And just kinda push it down lightly and then pop it off. And what's left behind is this impression so I know exactly where my slab cylinder is going to join the slab bottom. And then I'll just go in with the scoring tool, score this up, and then we flip it right back over. Stick it right back on there. See, I'm lifting up on the edges of the slab. Sometimes the slab wants to stick to the wear board, especially if your wear board is a little damp like mine is. Okay, now you can go ahead and I'm just gonna use my knife. I'm using the Dolan 220S and I'm just cutting straight down all the way around my cylinder. I'm gonna pull all that off. All right, let's see. Yep, got a bottom, yay. Tap it, I'm gonna turn it over. I'm just gonna wipe that join all the way around. Um, I don't really work the join up the side of the pot. The tapping of the cylinder onto the bottom is enough to usually bond it really well. 
I've never had a pot crack here ever so I guess um, if that's an issue you're having you might want to work on smoothing that down a little more on the sides maybe all right so here we have a super super cute fast cylinder boom cylinder done now you could play with the shape and you could put some more volume in it and if you do that you just put your hand down on the inside and just gently press outward and pull your hand up and this will add a little more volume to your cylinder and remember this is a very simple form and it can be used as a cup you could turn this into a pouring vessel a pitcher from this point I am going to be using it for windowsill vases these are so cute lined up on a windowsill I can have four or five of them up there and fill them with a bunch of spring flowers or summertime flowers even in the winter time put some flowers in there so here's a done one so you can see and for those who want to know the size of this template this was a seven inch high by ten inch wide template and I just cut a slab rolled it up joined it the last thing I'm gonna do is just smooth the edge I'm not gonna do a lot of smoothing because it's not a cup it's a vase so I'm not really worried about someone putting this to their mouth and drinking out of it if it was going to be a tall cup, which it could be, I would thin this a bit more and work it a little more just so it feels nicer on the mouth. But because it's for flowers, flowers don't mind. But I definitely don't want any sharp edges. All right, so there we have it. A super fast, super sweet little cylinder vase for flowers or maybe turn it into a cup. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more like this, or maybe you're watching this and you're thinking, I really wish she would break everything down into little steps and go a little slower because it's hard to follow because I'm just starting ceramics. Well, then you need to go to ClayShare.com and check us out there. On ClayShare, I show you every little step, every little part. We talk about tools, we talk about materials in depth, and it's really explained clearly and easy. And the great thing is each video is only about two minutes long, so you can stop at any point and go back if you need to, or skip ahead. And currently we have 30 classes, over 100 HD videos up there, and um, we're on track to have about 170 by the year's end. So 170 classes on ClayShare. That's a ton of clay. All right, guys. Well, as always, it's been a pleasure, and I can't wait to see you next time here in the studio.